Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to talk about debugging messages within SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. Here right now, we are in the transaction FB60 to enter vendor invoices. So here right now, we got a message to specify the account number. If we click on this message, then we, the performance assistant will open up with a detailed description about this message to specify account number. So, and here right now, um, because here we're seeing not a detailed description about this message, that we would like to debug the root cause of this message and really get to know what executed this message. So there are a couple of steps. And in this video, I would like to show you these kind of steps. So here right now, we got a message to specify the account number. And here right now, in every message in the performance system, we can see the message number. So here in this case, it's F5132. And this is important to find the root cause of this message. So you can select this message number and use control C to copy it because we need it later on. And um, because as we see right now, once again, if you produce the error, so I hit the enter key, then the message will show up. And in this case, it's it's kind of obvious because every other input fields are just in display mode and we got to focus on to vendors. So in this case, it is obvious, but for demo purposes, we would like to debug in the programming language ABAP, what is the root cause? And one of the most important ways is, of course, we enter the debugger. So to do this, first of all, we enter in the OK code field, the command field, and then we're using slash H, hit the enter key, and then we can see that debugging is switched on. And then the next action you are doing executes the debugger, and then you the debugger will open up. And now, once again, we produce the message so we hit the enter key and then right now the debugger is started and now we would like to set a breakpoint specifically when the message occurs so to do this there are a couple of steps so you can create a breakpoint so you can use this button or the f9 key on your keyboard then you move to the message tab and here it's important that you have to enter one ID, one number and one type if you want to. And you can also use the for help, but we have copied our message number. So here we can just paste it in. And here it's important to know that the first two characters represents normally the message class and the last three numbers, the message number itself. So uh, here it's important sometimes you have a number just uh, yeah starting with with uh, different numbers but you don't have to type in the, the whole number in the ID field here you have to type in the message class and here the message number and then you just simply uh, hit this continue button or the enter key on your keyboard and then you have successfully set the breakpoint and then you just can continue so you click on this button continue or the eight key on your keyboard and then the debugger stops directly when the message would occur so on this line and here right now we can directly see in the debugger that this field the info minus a c c and t so the account number is in this case empty it's initial and then this message will show up so yeah this is this is one way how you can identify the root cause of course if you want you can also in the menu bar click on breakpoints and then breakpoint add and then breakpoint add message and then you will enter also in this pop-up or what you also can do is you can create a watch point so you click on this watch point button in the toolbar or use the key combination shift and a four and here it's important to know that we would like to set a break a watch point on the system variable so it's s y minus m s g n o 
then in this case in this program that's perfectly fine select watch point at variable and here right now we would like to make a free condition so in this case once again uh, some kind of if condition so s y minus m s g n o equals to in our case the message number so one three two again one quotation mark and then just uh, click on the create and close window or hit the enter key on your keyboard and then you have also successfully created a watch point and then also the debugger will stop at your created watch point so when this variable uh, has been reached and so in this case um, yeah that's that's for these kind of statement the case and this is also one way how you can uh, identify this one and what you can also do so here we are uh, going out of the debugger with the f8 key or with this button and then you uh, see that this message will open up there is also one transaction code to directly identify to analyze the message class itself so we have copied the message number and in this case it was f5132 so in this case we open up the transaction code se91 so and in this case it's the transaction to yeah, maintain message classes itself and here you can just simply type in your message class and in this case it was f5 um, if you want to right now you can also in here type in your message message number because that is what we want to investigate further and then you click on display and here we can see that this message has been raised to specify the account number um, yeah and you can if you want to you can go to go to translations and you can translate it to to other languages what you like to so you enter in here the original language and then your target language that you directly get translation in, in other languages and this is also really really useful and you can also start debugger without entering the command slash h in the OK code field and to use this also we can create a shortcut so we would like to start the debug in the background without hitting the slash h in the command field this could be useful in some use cases so there you click in the toolbar to generate shortcut and then here we just would like to get yeah, to debug so in this case we would like to start uh, set the state uh, title to start a debugger then he, within here you have to change it to system command and within here you are typing slash h then in within here you select your sap system so that's perfectly fine your user with that you want to or with, with who you want to execute the system command and then you just simply click on the finish button then the shortcut is created on your location in this case desktop so in here as we saw the shortcut has been created and if we for example i've moved it a little bit to the left and i will end the debugger you can also if you want to um you can you can exit or stop the debugger and top left corner and then stop transaction or what you also can do is you can use slash hx then the debugger is also stopped so in our case, we would just like to start the debugging. So we double click on the shortcut. Then you get a SAP security pop-up. I would like to remember my decision and click on allow. And then again, the debugging is switched on without directly or manually using the command slash H. We just use the command in background. And then if you hit the enter key, then once again, the debugger is started. So and we would like to continue again i would like to terminate the debugger in some cases it is important to debug pop-ups so we don't have any possibility to use the slash h command in the command field and in 
these kind of use cases, you have to use a little trick. Uh, first of all, you have create one text file. In this case, I have just named it debug.txt. And if we have a look at this uh, in more detail, so here we have one command that is being executed. So what is basically doing it is using the system command slash h as we saw earlier on the command field so you have to create it i will exactly put this system commands in the video description so you directly can copy and paste it in your own file and then if you if you drag this this uh, file and drop it to your SAP GUI then also the slash h command is being executed and the debugger is switched on so in this case I'm just dragging and dropping it to the SAP GUI and then we can see the debugging is switched on and if I'm doing any action so for example hitting the enter key then again or ABAP debugger is being started, we can analyze it, creating watch points, breakpoints, whatever. Um, this is really useful, um, especially if you don't have any command fields. And for example, for pop-ups, there is no command field. So there you have to use this little trick. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the video description, hit the like button, and do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your support and then see you in the next video.